Hey, this is Shiley and you're watching Eat, Breathe Books and welcome to the moment that I think many of us have been waiting for, a another Barnes & Noble vlog. Okay, I'm sorry I've been a bit MIA and maybe some of you were wondering where my last video was filmed. It was actually filmed in Italy. Yes, I was in Italy, which is where I'm originally from and I will explain that more in future videos. Um, I have a really fun bookstore Milano shopping vlog I'm gonna post as well as a day in the life so get ready for those but I was gonna upload those first but then I found out Barnes & Noble is having a crazy 50% off sale and I was like you know what that's more urgent I want y'all to see what they have so if you're thinking about going maybe this will like convince you to go or or maybe not convince you to go I'm not sure anyway I hope that you all enjoy this vlog I am so excited about the Barnes & Noble at the Grove in LA hope you all enjoy let's do it Here we are. Time to visit Love. Oh, how I missed her. I don't think I've been here in over a month. I need to find some hand sanitizer. Okay, right when you walk in, you see some big advertisements. So 50% off, hundreds of new books. Okay, these are more adult novels. I'll show for those of you who are interested in more adult novels. I do recognize this author. <laughs> If you know me, you know I don't read a lot of adult. Maybe I'll change, I don't know. That's nice, I dropped two books that were in the corner like this. I apologize. Oh, I remember a lot of people liked her first book. Maybe her second too, I don't know, I haven't heard anything. I think they've had this section for a while, like hardcover bestsellers. It's like 30% off, I mean it's 30% off, but 40% off if you're a member, which is fun. What else? I'm trying to go slower, I know some of you asked me to film slower. Those of you that are curious about the layout of my Barnes & Noble, it is very big, it's three floors. They call this the newsstand. Basically magazines, newspapers, journals, all that good jazz. I used to come here all the time. Yeah, I used to read magazines like these, except they were called Tiger Beat and M Magazine. I don't know what girls' world is, but okay. Right, I'm on the escalator now. I don't know why the lighting is kind of weird, but we're gonna go up to the third floor because that's where the young adult and romance sections are in middle grade. And that's where the cafe is. I actually brought my laptop so I could write and do this like online uh, writing workshop with some of my writing girls. And also I did just see I be what I believe were cookbooks that were 50% off on the second floor. I don't spend that much time on the second floor. But yeah, a lot of, they have a lot of like cookbooks, art books, photography, fashion, self transformation. I don't know if that's different than self help, personal growth. I don't spend a lot of time on there, but yes. I also do a lot of book signings at this location. I know some pretty big authors have come here. I personally have met Chris Colfer and a couple of um, musicians as well. Oh, look how exciting, a book talk section. I've read, let's see which ones I've read. This one, part of this one, this one, part of this one. I heard really good things about that. This one, that one, the beginning of that, that one. I know, I have to read the rest, but this is very exciting. Like, we're really making waves out here, you guys. Hey, Barnes & Noble Book Awards Children and YA. I didn't even know they had that. Amari and the Knight Brothers. Wow, I love this cover, but I haven't heard of it. That's beautiful. I have to look into that more. I'm running late for my session, so I'll show all of you the rest later. Another Lee Bardugo book in this world? I had no idea. Wow, okay. It honestly excites me to see how many readers are here, and I know that some of them are new to reading or getting back into it after so long. A lot of you have actually expressed that to me about yourselves in the comments. So it's all very exciting, whether you're new to reading, getting back into it, never stopped. All very exciting. I love you all. 
Let's see if I bother anyone today with my recommendations because I have done that before. Being at the Barnes & Noble Cafe right now, they do serve some Starbucks drinks. I think I'm just gonna get an iced latte. I'm trying to cut down on the syrup and sugar and all that jazz, though I do have sugar sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. And you know, it's nice to buy something because then I'm gonna be sitting in the cafe. So it's kind of rude if I don't buy anything. Can somebody please tell me, because I'm scared to ask, if members are supposed to get 10% off their drinks? I feel like we are. I don't know. The membership is really worth it, by the way. $25 a year, you get bigger discounts on everything, you get free parking validation, at least at the mall that I go to. This is what the outside seating area looks like. It's really, really, really beautiful out here. Um, and you can stand over here and look at part of the mall. Pretty empty today, which is nice. Definitely makes it feel, everything feel more safe. We got all the seating here. There's a lot of seating, but they don't have outlets, which is like super annoying. So I have to fully charge my computer before I came. Okay, actually they do have two outlets and it turns out I need one, so very exciting. Thank you. This is what my drink looks like if anyone cares. It's just a small ice latte. Okay, group session is done, writing session is done, and now I will be going to the Y section and the romance section and showing you what I find on sale and do other things. So first, let's look at more of these cute little tables. Who is dying to tell the truth? The guilt trip. Okay, so this is the new Barnes & Noble book club pick. I did see this in an email that they sent. We always love the Reese's book club table right here. This is literally one of the best books of all time. I've talked about it a few times on my channel and I love it. I love travel books. Sergey Mass table. What else? You'll never forget your first. Start your next favorite series here. <laughs> um, I do want to check this one. I want to check her book section. I haven't read anything yet. If any of you have read her books, let me know what you think. What else? I don't know. These are not on solo. These are just like ones that are new in paperback. Read it before you see it. They always have like a nice adaptations table. Like we have Jenny Han over there. You know, different different things. Buy one get one half price young adult paperbacks. Okay, we've got some good things on here. That looks really cute. And I, I really mean cute as a compliment, not as something belittling. I love contemporary romance. Here we go with the 50% off. I still need to read Concrete Rose, but I already have it. Oh, Better Together is 50% off and it's the Barnes & Noble edition. Okay, I have to get this. I love Christine Rich of Whole Banana Books. She's a huge booktuber on YouTube. I'm sure most of you have heard of her, if not all. And she's really nice too. I've met her a few times. Okay, I definitely want to get that. But I've heard really good things about that. Okay, what else? Mm. Oh, I heard good things about that. Midnight Sun, my bae. We love. We love. Okay, these are more like murder mystery type of stories. I have read One of Us is Lying. I've heard good things about a few of these, including True Daily Devious. Oh my gosh, I have a Dark Academia section. This person is on TikTok. That is so funny. Oh, the Ivy's Alexa Dunn. She's, she's an author here on BookTube, actually. Of course, we love that there's a rom-com section. It's one of my favorite... Um, genres of all time. I'm actually reading The Dating Plan right now. I'm excited to tell all of you what I think. I need to read the X talk. I agree a lot of these actually. I've heard such good things about that, like I said. And another book talk section. Oh my gosh, this is actually crazy. I haven't been on TikTok in a bit, but very exciting. Okay, here we have romance. <gasps> Look at all the beautiful Colleen Hoover books. Is this a new cover for Slammed? Oh, this is the redone one with the girl sitting there. Okay, fine. I know what that is. Love me some Colleen Hoover. Like, please read Colleen Hoover if you haven't yet. Like, all her books are good. Literally, all her books are good. It ends with a slammed. They're just all amazing. Oh, there's more of Jasmine Gilroy. Of course, we love Be Tree by Emily Henry. It's also one of my favorite books of all time. Here we go. More stuff here. I love all these fun you know, bright, colorful covers. I've heard good things about the tourist attraction. Um, hold, let me finish showing you romance before I show why. So, here's more romance here. It's fun to see JLA's series here and in hardcover. Wow, I, remember, I think she originally published on Amazon, so that is a very exciting accomplishment. I've only read like 70 pages of the first book so far, though. I still need to finish reading The Royal We. Here, I'm going to recommend some young adult novels that I read and loved. 
let's see what I can find here. Has anyone read this? A lot of people buzzed about it so much. I'm about halfway through, so won't be giving my thoughts yet. Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. Okay, I think I've talked about this before. I think I've talked about this before, but I literally love this so much. It's about a little homeschool who works at a hotel, and then she meets this guy, and he's like really amazing, and whenever he's trying to show her that he likes her, he like puts her hand on his heart so he, she, she can feel it beating, which is one of the cutest things ever. And I also love this new cover that they've made. It's different from the one that I have. The one I have has like real people on it. Enjoy like covers for her Gargoyle um, trilogy. Oh, really cute. Shrimp Territory, Hot Kiss, Every Last Breath. I never finished Every Last Breath, but I did like that series. It was just kind of like intense and like low-key kind of scary. If you haven't watched my wrap up, I highly recommend you do. Oh, I've been hearing really good things about Blackout. What else? Guys, I really think I'm just gonna get this today because I really want it and it's on sale, but I definitely do want to pick up other books, just not yet. Like, I want to read Blackout, I want to read The Ivies, like, there's so many I want to read, but I just need to save money right now. Jenny Han, we love, and I'm so glad that the series is going to feature an Asian lead, because I know she made the lead in the series white, and that was a long time ago when people, people didn't really want characters of color as main characters, so I'm glad that they're changing it up. Here's a lot more of the YA section. I might not show all of it, it's actually pretty big. But here's just more stuff. Here's my fave. Um, yeah, I still really want to read this. I do want to read more of Karen's books. I said already that I read One of Us is Lying. Still really want to read a full love story. If anyone's read it, let me know. I still haven't read Five Feet Apart, but I did really like the movie. Um, I think Justin Baldoni did a great job of directing it. Okay, basically there are way more like aisles and rows I could show all of you, but it's getting super crowded right now, which A is not safe and B, like I try not to be scared to vlog in public, but it does get a little bit intimidating when there are a bunch of like young girls around me. I don't even know what this is about, but it looks so cute. Bada and Jet is Recipe for Romance by Nisha Sharma. Okay, I really have heard such good things about this book. I don't even remember what it's about. Let's see. You know, Family Vacation, Martha's Vineyard. I don't know. I just remember hearing something about it and being like, that looks good. I think I got an Instagram ad for it, actually. I can't seem to find any 50% off for the romance genre. Like, new adult, adult, things like that. I just don't see anything so maybe it's just on YA and other topics which is still fine but I just thought that maybe I would find for um like Emily Henry uh that kind of stuff okay that's crazy I don't think I've ever seen Elle Kennedy in a bookstore before TikTok seriously blew her up I mean she was popular a couple of years back too but now she's really blew up that is exciting for her I haven't read her books but that's exciting I'm not going to like an event anytime soon here but this is like the typical setup for signings that they have so that's exciting that they're coming back i hope they're being safe while they do them but yeah this is more of a small signing i guess where people are actually like sitting and like listening to the person speak sometimes it's really just a signing no reading no speech or anything love this i remember talking about how i was excited to read that i heard good things about that like all of these honestly it's so exciting good morning america book club cool i didn't know they had one or did i i'm not sure more young adult and here's fantasy stuff for all you fantasy fans. Um, I love this cover and I'm so intrigued. Their magic will not be vanquished. Has anyone read this? I'm so intrigued by this. Wow. So cool. I am so excited to give all of you my thoughts on Instructions for Dancing by Nicole Yoon. So excited to tell all of you what I think. For real. One of the annoying things about going by yourself is that it's so hard to take a... <laughs> Sorry, the lighting is so weird. It's so hard to take a thumbnail because I just feel like so awkward asking you to take a picture of me. Like, can you take a picture of me in the books? Like, I'm so awkward. I don't know. And, like, I tried to set up a timer, but, like, it's embarrassing. And it, like, doesn't work out. So, I'll have to figure out what to do. I don't know.
Bye bye, Barnes and Noble. Thank you so much. See you next time. We got the goods. Um, I actually pre-ordered. I don't know if you can hear me. I pre-ordered two very exciting novels that are set to release August 31st of this year. Obviously, I already pre-ordered them, but I'm thinking I might come down if I can on release day to this location and try to find them just to like create that little bit of hype and make a fun video like finding two books I'm excited for. If you want to guess what they are, you can. One of them is written by one of my favorite authors. The other one, I'm not sure if she's a debut author, but it's about Orthodox Jews, which is very exciting. So if you can guess what they are, comment down below. Let me know what books you're excited for. And again, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate all of you tuning in and watching this vlog. I love you all. Talk to you later.